Busy Motors All-Electric Porsche 935 Busy Moto has created some crazy cars in recent years, including a twin turbocharged Porsche Boxster with a central driving position. For this latest project, the man behind the company, Busy Azurioa, took a classic Porsche 911 and fitted it with the same body panels mimicking the original Le Mans winning 935 race car. Thus, this isn't an actual Porsche 935, though it sure looks the part. Where you'd expect to see a twin turbocharged flat 6 engine in the back, there's now a much more compact electric motor that receives juice from small battery packs located at the front and rear, with a combined capacity of 32 kilowatt hours. Bissy claims the car produces 636 horsepower, a huge amount of power, especially when you consider that the car weighs very little. Bissy Moto pays a lot of attention to make this powertrain overhaul easily usable for the driver. Switching between drive and reverse is as simple as holding down the brake and moving the gear shift forward or backwards respectively. The result is a car that perfectly combines the sleek and timeless design of the original Porsche 935 with some of the latest and most innovative electric powertrain technology. Mustang Mach-E 1400 About a year ago, before the Mustang Mach-E broke cover, Ford's motorsports division quietly started work on something outrageous – a one-off version of the electric vehicle that makes 1400 horsepower. Dubbed the Mustang Mach-E 1400, it's a wicked-looking three-seater demonstration car that screams like a banshee and smokes tires like they're kindling. Equipped with a massive rear wing, aerodynamic bodywork, and seven electric motors, the Mustang Mach-E 1400 has a top speed of around 160 miles per hour. It can presumably reach that speed in very quick fashion, though Ford says it hasn't yet benchmarked a 0-60 mph or quarter-mile time. The motors pull their power from a relatively small 56.8 kWh battery pack. That's about 75% the capacity of the standard range production Mach-E, made up with nickel-manganese cobalt NMC pouch cells. Ford says these cells allow for ultra-high performance and high discharge rate and that the pack is designed to be liquid-cooled while charging to quickly fill back up. Still, the battery pack of that size feeding seven motors will run out rather quickly. Since this is just a demonstration car, Mark Rushbrook, the global director of Ford Performance, tells the goal was to create something that could make multiple runs across the span of, say, an hour before needing to be recharged, all while showing the extreme potential of Ford's EV technology. Tesla Cobra EV In 1962, a 39-year-old Carroll Shelby stuffed a Ford V8 into an AC Ace to create one of the most sought-after performance cars ever made, the AC Cobra. Some 50 years later, a group of engineers from British Columbia, Canada has brought Shelby's idea, small two-seat sports car, very big power, into a new age. A group of friends built the chassis themselves and used a mold of the 427 Shelby Cobra for a fiberglass replica of the body. Draining the battery is a Tesla motor capable of 310 kilowatts, 416 horsepower, though the team said it has dialed back the output to 300 horsepower due to battery and motor temperature issues. The goal was to have a lightweight vehicle, and the decision to use a Kia Soul EV battery pack played into that, since it is the most energy-dense battery pack available with 300 kilowatt hours of energy capacity in only a 400-pound pack. Range is also an issue, with the team saying it uses up the battery's full charge in 20 minutes, which is about 16 laps on a 1.4-mile road race course. But for those 16 laps, the Tesla-powered Cobra slays its competition with ease. Zelectric Motors Volkswagen Beetle The VW Beetle is one of the greatest cars of all time. It's been with us since 1938, and there are a surprising number of 1950s and 60s cars on the road today. San Diego-based Zelectric Motors takes these cars, rips out the paltry air-cooled engine that is often well past its use-by date, and replaces it with a trick electric power plant. CEO David Bernardo wasn't even worried about the environment when he built the first car. 
he just wanted a beetle that wouldn't break down. They installed a 50 kilowatt motor and a 20 kilowatt hour battery pack that gives the Beetle 100 miles per hour top speed and an 80 mile range. That's nothing in the modern age, but then this is a classic car with classic car brakes and crash protection. Zelectric can go further if you're prepared to pay, but they'll have to start upgrading other parts of the car and the price will skyrocket. The acceleration at least is much improved, thanks to 120 pound feet of torque. Zelectric don't publish the 0 to 60 miles per hour time, but rest assured it's a big improvement on the original thanks to all that torque coming from zero RPM. High performance sway bars and custom shocks combine with the weight of the battery pack to pin the car to the road, and enthusiasts will notice a serious improvement over the basic car. 1977 Porsche 911 Electric if you thought Porsche purists freak out when the 911s became water-cooled, then you haven't seen anything yet. Just imagine how infuriated they'd be if someone were to, say, give it an electric power unit. Well, you actually don't have to imagine, since one car lover did just that. Founded by father and son team Lee and Dylan Coleman, Street Fighter LA is known as one of the few US-based manufacturers of wide body kits. Its latest creation marries a wide-body 911 with an all-electric powertrain. Called the ERWB, the car is a 1977 Porsche 911 with an RWB backdate body kit that's powered by a 420 kilowatt drive unit from a Tesla Model S. The setup makes 563 electric wheel horsepower, which is comparable to a car making 700 horsepower at the crank. The full modification list is extensive. It includes a custom set of 17-inch BBS RS wheels, GT3-inspired suspension from Elephant Racing, and a custom interior featuring Burberry fabric inserts. Comment below what you think of this all-electric RWB 911, and what sort of car would you drop a Tesla power plant into if given the option? Alfa Romeo Giulia GT Electric a company by the name of Totem Automobili has reimagined the classic Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA as a modern performance car with an electric powertrain and a carbon fiber body. Rather than just copy the original design directly though, Totem made some subtle changes. The GT Electric has four headlights instead of the original two. The C-pillar design is tweaked and the Alfa Romeo badge lacks the bars of the original. To help offset the weight, Totem crafts a new body out of carbon fiber. The resulting curb weight is just over 3,100 pounds, which isn't bad for an EV. The single electric motor generates 518 horsepower and 692 pound-feet of torque, and will see the car sprint to 62 miles per hour from rest in 3.4 seconds, according to Totem. The claimed top speed is 152 miles per hour. A 50 kilowatt hour battery provides a range of 222 miles and weighs 770 pounds alone. Totem also redesigned the underside of the car to improve aerodynamics, creating a flat floor with rear air extractors in an effort to generate downforce. For the interior, they have swapped out the conventional gauges for a pair of 3.5 inch screens. And unlike in the original Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA, Totem's GT Electric gets power windows and air conditioning. The company has also decided to add an exterior sound system consisting of multiple speakers. This is to enable the car to sound like the original, with accurate locations for the sound of the engine revving, the gears being shifted and the exhaust shouting. Electric GT Ferrari 308 GTS We've seen Lancias, Alphas, Maseratis and assorted F1 cars over the years packing Ferrari engine. But seeing a Ferrari running under different power is something else entirely, let alone one packing a fully electric powertrain. Yet that's what one company in Southern California has done with this 1978 Ferrari 308 GTS swapping out its V8 engine for an array of electric motors and battery packs. Rather than tearing apart a perfectly good Italian sports car, Eric Hutchison of San Diego-based Electric GT 
found the Magnum PI spec prancing horse for salvage after it had burned out from an unfortunate fuel leak. One man's loss being another's gain, he bought it for $10,000 and, together with his friend, set about converting it to electric power. With three AC51 HP V's electric motors and 48 batteries installed, the Cavallo Electrico produces an impressive 465 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque. That's a heck of a lot more than the 2.9-liter V8 in the original 308 ever produced. To offset the added weight of the four dozen 3.3-volt lithium-ion batteries, they stripped out anything they could and found new homes for many of the jettisoned components through fora like Ferrari Chat, whose members enthusiastically followed the conversion process. The result is a vehicle just 150 pounds heavier than stock that can travel 100 miles on a single charge. That's more than most OEM EVs can go these days, and in better style too. 1956 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud Rolls-Royce has always been a symbol of the highest form of luxury. However, like every other car, the older Rolls-Royces have decreased in price, leading some to purchase them cheap and modify them back to their former glory, as is the case with this Silver Cloud. Yet instead of stopping at the exterior appearance, this one's got an updated power unit too. Classic car electrification firm Lunas has made a new model for its burgeoning lineup of converted historics, zero emission version of the 1956 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Each Silver Cloud is visually unmodified and undergoes a coach built restoration process, but has its original petrol motor swapped for a secretive in house developed electric powertrain that produces 516 pound feet and 375 horsepower. Lunaz claims a range of more than 250 miles from an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of less than 5 seconds. Aside from the electrification process, of which details are kept closely guarded, modern day touches are applied as well, though, such as satellite telecommunications, Wi Fi, audio visual entertainment, and navigation aids.